Hi, I, I apologize for uh, the seven uh, previous videos that I have made and posted on YouTube. I have I haven't checked them out. The quality of it, uh, the quality of it when I made them and I uh, put them in in, in the uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker somehow end up uh, uh, crappy uh, videos uh, when I post it on YouTube, which usually do, they don't they, they don't end up that crappy. But I haven't checked it in 24 hours, and I had like uh, seven viewers, and I apologize. Whoever those viewers were, uh, I apologize because you couldn't see anything, all the uh, typings and all that stuff. And so, again, I had to scramble to make these seven videos that took me uh, quite a uh, few hours. So I'm going to try uh, and do them again as quickly as possible. Alright, so this video is about how to make in Unity, how to make a tree grow and how to, how to make these uh, textures to come up when you get close to the tree and you when you and texture to go away uh, disappear when you uh, move away from the uh, tree and then also when you uh, hit the uh, Q button to actually cut that tree all right uh, this first uh, set of uh, three or four uh, videos will be in JavaScript and then I'll uh, uh, translate them into the uh, C sharp so I'm gonna try this as quickly as possible to do this since uh, the first time I done it, it took me uh, quite a few hours. For this project, you'll need a tree, 3D tree, any tree. Uh, you can find them. It's easy to find them on on uh, Unity 3 uh, 3D website. Then you'll need a cube. A cube is when you uh, hit a, a right key mouse and 3D object and just bring in the cube. When you bring in the cube under the inspector, mesh render, uh, remove that component, you don't need it, and you only end up with the uh, graph here of the uh, cube. Is trigger has to be check marked, okay, and that's about it for that. Oh, before you make the tree a parent of that cube, you make sure that cube is big enough alright uh, to be the a trigger this is going to be a trigger where the character once it answers uh, ends up uh, like uh, scanning it for that um, it's gonna scan the, the character f whether the character entered the trigger or not okay and before you make the tree a uh, child of that cube make sure you scale the tree down uh, my scale is 0 0.02 0 0.02 0 0.02 the X Y and Z axis next thing is you'll need canvas canvas is brought in by under the hierarchy clicking right click on on it UI canvas bring in the canvas right there as you can see and then under the canvas again right click UI bring in the text after you bring in the text under the inspector where the text is delete that text make sure that it's deleted save your progress and we're gonna I'm gonna delete this because I already have uh, mine it's called the uh, canvas group and text is called text shot free all right let's quickly do this first thing we're gonna do is make the JavaScript and it's gonna be called uh, growing a tree something like that create JavaScript growing a tree or grow a tree grow tree just for I mean you can rename it whatever you want I'm just trying to quickly do this uh, because again I had to scramble around to make these videos as, as fast as possible 
Alright, I'm gonna take out all these uh, scripts that I have under the cube and the tree, which is right here. Make sure there's no other scriptures going on there. Alright, let's open up this new brand new Java file. Okay. Function start we don't need. But we'll need a public something but we don't need public you know type in public you just type in a bar um, max grow max growth is um, float is equal um, call float is equal to let's say one f semicolon next line of code will be var um, we're gonna have a speed growth speed of the tree so speed growth again it's going to be comma float is equal to point one float no and under the um, update we'll have oh, it's not working here we go under update we'll have a I believe the um, just this being well first we're gonna scale we're gonna put the uh, make a code of scaling the uh, pretty much we're gonna scale the uh, the tree so transform Transform is right here. Dot local scale. Dot x is plus equal is equal um, to vector vector. Three parentheses. Then we have well, we are scaling all three vectors. So vector x will be zero point one, comma. Vector y will be again zero point one, same, comma. Vector z zero point one, and then. We have we have to time it with the time time delta uh, all right uh, delta oh dot Time, no, 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 